Welcome back to Do So Confidently and our Breath of the Wild Plateau to Ganon on Master Mode run. Um, last time we were here, I know it's been a while, I apologize guys, but the last time we were here, we got the last shrine um, on the plateau and now we need to go get our, I don't have a, a um, I can't play and talk. Still a thing. Um, I don't have the paraglider yet, which I need. So, we gotta go get that from the old dude. And I just said, we don't have the paraglider. I'm, I'm going straight from here to Ganon, so I'm taking the time to... Ooh. Oh, he first fast. Okay. I'm taking the time to seek out weapons because I don't have much to take with me and I'm a little worried so fun fact game over colors according to how you died so I drowned so it or I froze I'm not sure which yet was but that was blue for that um if you burn up it's red if or um yeah it, it's it's stuff like that so let's try this again keep trying to paraglide and it's not going to work. So, the reason I'm I'm worried about going straight to Ganon is because oh, not even anything helpful. It's because if you don't get the four divine beasts as part of the storyline, you have to beat their counterparts at Ganon before you can get to the real Ganon. So instead of having two phases, which is Ganon and then Primal Ganon, um, you have six. You have the four divine beasts, um, that's a shrine, okay. You have the four divine beasts, and then the two levels of Ganon. And so, I have to s not only survive all of them, but I have to, um, I just realized I could travel. Um, I have to be able to beat them. And the way weapons break in this game, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how far I can get before I run out of weapons. Um, so yeah. I've been kind I've spent a little time kind of mapping it out, but I don't want to cheat the challenge here, which is to go straight to Ganon. Now there are really good weapons and shields and food and cooking stations in the castle. Um being on massive mode, navigating the castle, castle itself is going to be kind of difficult. Um by nature, because it's swarming with enemies, and they're all going to be three times my level. And why am I... Why am I so backwards? Um... Anyway, so, I'm just worried. I've never done this. Um, I've been watching a friend attempt to do it. He's really good at it, and can't do it. So, we... Uh, as the name of this channel is, we are going to be confident, even if I don't know or think I can do it, we're going to try it like we do. Like we do know we can. So yeah, um, I am not going to do any off-screen farming, or off-video off farming. I am going, you're going to see everything my first time through. If I get to Ganon and it's determined that I need to farm up either weapons or food or something um I will I will let you guys know and we'll do it we'll do it that way um I'm not gonna make you suffer through watching me farm but I will not be getting any shrines or heart containers or stamina wheels or anything like that outside of what you can gain by cooking um, so yeah. Oop. 
Okay, I thought that was gonna hurt. Okay, I've gotta get to the Temple of Time, which is up there. Um, and I would prefer to do it without... What is in my inventory? I don't even remember. Uh, that's really nothing. Let's see here. It's so little. Alright, let's see what I might be able to find along the way. I love the, uh, the background. Looking at the distance. And let's see here. I don't, I don't want to start a fight I don't need to start. Oop, and that's a fight that I definitely don't need to start. have the Korok leaf, which would be very handy right now. Can I climb up? I've cleared I've cleared some enemies. Not not many, but I did clear some. Alright, I'm going in slightly the wrong direction. I need to go over there. Alright, let's see here. Easiest way to get down. I really cannot wait to get my hands on that paraglider because that's going to be nice. It's so hard. you think it'd be simple because this is all you, if you're not familiar with the game, all you've seen is me running around and you think, no, you know, you run around, you climb, that's how it works. But when you get the paraglider, it makes things a million times easier as far as getting around. Um, you'll see. You'll see what I mean. There's all of a sudden no, almost no chance of fall damage unless you're doing something insane. Or run out of stamina. Which, more often than not, is the cause of, of fall damage. Because the paraglider does take stamina. Alright, let's see here. There's going to be some enemies over here. I do not believe I cleared them. Let's see here. Be very, very quiet. Oh, there he is. I can sneak up on him. Let's see here. What are you going to give me, man? I love that they sleep. Hehehe. <laughs> Alright, please no more. Oh wait. Can't carry more melee? Oop. Oh. Don't need a torch. Alright. Let's see here. Oh. My first instinct was to try and push a dig. That's funny. All the other Zelda games have me very well trained. Oh, hey, look. Yay! Alright. Yep. Got it, but don't really care. I just realized there could be something up there. Huh. Definitely don't have the stamina to try and climb it. This poor building. I'm not gonna try. I don't think I have to do that. I just need to get to the top of the temple. And I gotta remember how I did it last time with so little stamina. ladder on the other side. I think that was a mistake I made the first time. I um, found a way to climb and it was so close and I fell so many times trying to do it. And then I walk when I got up on the roof I walked around and there was a ladder on the other side. So yeah that was not a fun realization at all. But I felt very accomplished for getting up there without the ladder. Alright, 
first thing I want to do is see if I can get to that other tower. Because if there's there's more stuff, then you better believe I'm going to go for all the new stuff I can find. Uh, I think it's only from the inside. <gasps> oh, oh, man. Uh, getting the paraglider actually is going to... What, what was that? Did somebody throw something at me? Paris, yay! I must have fallen on her or something. Alright. I was hoping. A girl can hope. Alright, let's go back up. If I'm not eating anything, I'm I, I've gotta save the food. Because I've gotta make dishes for Ganon. No, I'm not cooking for Danon. <laughs> but I, uh, I need to be able to sustain myself during that battle. Cause it's gonna be a battle. All right, let's go get that paraglider. And I'm gonna skip cutscenes. If you want to see cutscenes, you're gonna have to play the game yourself. <laughs> well done. There we go. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely wounded and elapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. 
The fate of Hyrule rests with you. All right. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then, you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Mm. All right, we have our instructions. We're only going to follow half of them. First quest complete. Um, we're going straight again. We're, we're forget Kakariko. Princess needs us. Mm. We're running. All right, let's see. All right. All right. Yep, we're going. Yeah, yeah, another bow. Okay, good. This is this is great. I'm not going after Impa. So there's that. I've got. Oh! No! Climb it! Leak! Oh, fine, don't climb it. Do it. You can do it. You can do it. Don't follow me now. Alright, so this is what I was looking at. Is there something. No. All right. I hoped. I hoped. And they let me down. But that's okay. All right. So now we can do this kind of thing. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's get off this cursed plateau and let's go straight to the glowing thing. Let's make this easier on ourselves. We need to go over here. Alright, let's see here. Alright. So what do you guys think so far? Um, leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to see better. What you don't think you need to see. Um, if I could do something better, let me know. Um, and that would be absolutely amazing. I'm always looking to get better, which is part of the reason for this channel. Um, oh, okay, let me get to a safe spot here, and, uh, we will sign off for the night, because we are at a very good point to do so. 
we're going to be jumping from here and going straight for the castle. So yeah, thank you for joining me. And next time, we will uh, cut across this field here and get to the castle. Until then, I will see you on the flip side.